Hi guys, it's Mrs. Miller again. I have another fun art project for you this week. This week we're gonna look at butterflies. Something cool about butterflies is that both of their wings are exactly the same. They're like a mirror image of each other. So first thing we need to do today is we need to draw and cut our butterfly out. So I have just a white piece of paper here. You can use any kind of paper, any size, construction paper, copy paper, notebook paper, whatever you have. You wanna take it and just fold it in half. Crease that seam, try to line up your edges nice and neatly. Always use the table to press against, it makes it easier for folding. And then what we wanna do, you can see there's an open side and there's a folded side. The folded side's where the paper's connected. That's where we're gonna to start to draw. And we're gonna draw one butterfly wing. So I'm gonna start on the fold, I'm gonna come up nice and big and make just a simple butterfly wing. Keeping it paper folded, I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna to try to cut right on the line, take my time. Always watch where your scissors are going. Nice and smooth, straight cuts. If you don't fall on your line exactly, that's okay. And we go ahead and cut it out. Now when we open it up, we should have two butterfly wings that are exactly the same. So first thing you wanna do is go ahead and draw the butterfly body and head. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I could color it in here. After I'm done coloring in the bo body of the butterfly, it's time to decorate those wings. Now, you can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, anything you have around your house, any type of art supplies. And what you wanna do is, if I put one shape on one side, maybe a large pink circle over here, color it in nice and neatly, I wanna do exactly the same thing on the other side. You could do shapes, you could also do different kinds of lines. Maybe I put kind of a wavy line around my dot like so, and then I'll do a wavy line around my dot on the other side. So what I do to one side, it's exactly the same or close to it on the other side. You can see my finished examples here, okay? Um, lots of different ways to make butterflies. I have one other way that you can decorate the wings. If you're lucky enough to have some paint at your house, I asked my daughter Ella to help us out here today. She already did the first two steps of drawing and cutting the butterfly out, and we're gonna use paint to decorate the wings. So I'm gonna ask Ella to help me, and on this one side of the wing, just on one wing, I'm gonna make a few dots with the paint that I have. I'm just using finger paint. You can use any type of paint would work for this. Ella, you wanna use the yellow? I know yellow is your favorite color. Make some dots, and I'll make some more with the red. Whoop, that's a big one, that's okay. You wanna make any more there, Ella? Awesome, perfect. Ella does love yellow. We have lots of yellow on there. That's good. One more? All right. Now, notice I have it on a placemat just in case some of this paint oozes out. But what I want you to do, Ella, is just fold that in half now, lay it right on top, and just kind of smush that paint around. Gently press down on it, kind of rubbing your fingers all around. You see the paint oozes out on the edges. That's okay, it will dry. All right, working together here. What do you think? We're ready to open it up and see what we got? Oh, I love it. How gorgeous. We're going to let that dry, and then she can add her butterfly body and head afterwards using crayons or markers. Love it, Ella. Great job. I hope you're excited about this project, too. If you want to look at some butterfly examples, if you look in the resource folder and look for the art file, I'll upload um, a few pictures of butterflies you can find all around the world. Lots of shapes and lots of different colors and sizes. So have fun and be creative. Bye.